from Monday, March 16th. A couple of intriguing Apple rumors regarding the iPhone and iPod Shuffle are rocketing around the internet. Dick founder Kevin Rose claims that when Apple reveals the updated iPhone OS 3.0 tomorrow, it will include a copy and paste function that uses a magnifying glass icon containing two draggable quotation marks. But while this is welcome news for iPhone users, other information about the new 4GB iPod Shuffle is not so warm. The new Shuffle has controls built into the earbuds. Unfortunately, the new iPod is currently only compatible with the earbuds that come with the Shuffle. The website iLounge is reporting that third-party headphones result in a non-stop shuffling of songs with no ability to control the iPod. Additionally, any new third-party headphones may need to include an Apple authentication chip, which could run up the price for the end consumer. We'll keep you posted. Now, it looks like MacGyver will soon be building bombs out of yo-yos and toothpicks on the big screen. The 1980s TV series starring Richard Dean Anderson as a resourceful secret agent is being developed as a feature film by New Line. On the TV show, which ran from 1985 to 1992, MacGyver was famous for using science to escape deadly scenarios. So maybe he can figure out a way to fix the earbuds for the iPod Shuffle. Now, the recession is forcing the government to go the eBay route. Several deficit-riddled U.S. municipalities are now selling off old police cars, slot machines, helicopters, and bicycles in an attempt to make some revenue. But instead of going the old-school auction route, the states are peddling their wares online. For example, Tampa, Florida recently hosted the auction of a 1978 Piper Police airplane on GovDeals.com. They ultimately made more than $300,000 from the online auction, proving that states are willing to sell just about anything to reduce their budget deficit. And finally, Google Earth is now being creatively used by criminals. A London man has been arrested for using Google Earth's aerial photographs to target churches and schools in South London with lead roof tiles. The man, 27-year-old Tom Burge, could tell which roofs were made of lead because they appeared slightly darker than the regular roofing tiles in Google Earth's aerial photos. The man then drove to the building, stole the roofing tiles, and sold them to scrap metal dealers for a profit. He has since pled guilty to the crimes. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Get all the news you need to know anytime at g4tv.com. And now, on a personal note, today is my final day at G4. I'm choosing to move on to some new adventures. I want to thank Neil and John for giving me the honor of bringing you the only news you need to know for the last three years. The amazing team I've worked with here, Chris, Kristen, all the writers, Scott, and my lovely studio crew. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. Thank you. And last, but certainly not least, I also want to thank you, the AOTS audience, for all your support. I truly love you guys, and I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much. Now for my final time, I hope it tastes good. I'm Layla Kaylee, and you've just been fed. Like this short clip? Want to get more? Download a full episode on iTunes, Zoom, Xbox Marketplace, or Fancast Store right now. G4, TV that's plugged.